Okay, as we all know, to solve the first equation, we can simply take the square roots on both sides with a plus minus here, and see that and that will cancel. And of course, we can get the x by itself, and that's equal to plus or minus 16, and we are done. But have you ever thought about, what if the power moves to here instead? Oh well, in this case, that we can actually just take the super square root on both sides. And yes, this is a real thing. And yes, this and that will cancel. And let me tell you guys that the x is by itself, and we only have one number for it. The super square root of 256 is 4, like this. And this is super, super cool. And I want to thank the, you, know, you guys, whoever told me about the super square root and also the inverse operation of the titration. Very interesting stuff, and I'm going to learn more about it. And hopefully, I can find more resources, and I will make more videos for you guys. Today, I will mainly show you guys how you can calculate the super square root and also how to use the Lambert W function for that, right? So let me just go over this with you guys right here. When you have a tool right here instead, this is called the titration. We can also call this to be the hyperpower. This right here, it actually just means x to the x power. That's all. And when you have a 3 right here instead, of course, you can just say this is the x to the x to the x power, like that. And this 2 and that 3, they have names. This is called the height. Why? Because you are pretty much just building up a power tower. And you see, you have two levels here. And right here, we have 1, 2, 3, 3 levels. So it's just the height of the tower. Yeah? So we'll focus on this for today. And yes, later on, you can also talk about the super cube root and any super whatever root you want. Okay? And this also is also called the super logarithm, which is to help you find out the height, but maybe later on in the future. So suppose we have this is equal to some number a, and suppose you really want to just find out the real numbers only, real number solutions for the x. In that case, a has to be greater than or equal to 1 over e, raised to the 1 over e's power for a real solution to exist. But we like the complex rule anyway, so we just leave it like that. Anyway, when you have this equation, or maybe equation in this form, let me tell you x is just equal to the super square root. So the super square root, this is this, OK? And you put the a inside, of course, like that. Well, I know a lot of you guys would like to comment about the super square root whatsoever. For the regular square root, we put down SQRT. But for the super square root, we put down SSRT. And you enter the A inside. And I think some people will also put the SSQRT. I think that's fine too. So we will see how to calculate the super square root of some number. That's really, really cool stuff. All right, let's look at this form. This is too intimidating. If you want to go from here to here, that's it, right? But let's look at this form. Well, in order for us to use the Lambert W function, remember the fish, right? Once you have this, you can take the Lambert W function, then you can get that fish back. Really powerful stuff. And this is called the product law, if you would like to use Wolfram Alpha for that. So that's our goal. And now let's look at this right here. Let's go ahead and take the natural log on both sides. So let me just put it down right here real quick. Put the x to the front, so we have x times natural log of x, and that's equal to natural log of a, like this. Then, what we're going to do is, we need to introduce the e. Well, focus on this right here, this x. We can write this x as e raised to the natural log of x power. That's so cool. And you see that we have a natural log of x. Well, I can put that down right here in the front as well. And notice that. This is the fish, and we have the same fish right here. So that's wonderful. And on the right-hand side, we have the natural log of a. Because this and that are the same now, we can just take the Lambert W function on both sides, like that. And as you can see, when this and that are the same, when we take the Lambert W function, we just get this back, namely the fish, right? So we get ln of x, and that's equal to the Lambert W function of ln of a, like this. And of course, to solve for x, we can just do e to the power on both sides, so that this and that will cancel. And you see, x will be e to the w of ln of a, like this. And that's pretty much it. So if you want to figure out the SSRT, namely the super square root of a number a, you can just go ahead and do e to the w of 
ln of a, like this. And again, as a reminder, the w right here, this is called the product law. So that's it. Really cool stuff, but I don't want to end it here because, in fact, I did this before. In fact, I've solved x to x is equal to 2. And yes, I pretty much just have to change the 2 to a, and that's it, right? That's kind of cheating. So I will do more for you guys in this video. Well, let's go ahead and use the super square root to solve for this equation right here. And before we continue, I just want to thank the viewer for suggesting me on how to solve this right here with the super square root. It's super cool. So, to use a super square root though, it's a different situation than this, okay? All you have to do is the following. Well, SSRT, you need to have a fish right here, stack on another fish. You can get your fish back right away. So with that said, let's go ahead and put the x together and then the 2 together maybe. So let's go ahead and raise both sides to the 1 over x power like this. But we have a 2 right here, that's no good, but it's okay. Let's just go ahead and include a little 2 in the denominator like this. Perfect. Then on the left hand side, we will have x to the 1 over x power. That's what excellent. And then on the right hand side, we'll just have 2 to the 1 half power, and that's just the square root. And this is just a regular square root, okay? Now, as you can see, the power right here is 1 over x. Hmm. I need to make the base 1 over x as well. How can we do that? Well, we know that 1 over x is the same as x to a negative 1 power. So we can look at this as 1 over x raised to the negative 1 power, but we have this power here, so just include that. So that's what we have, and that's equal to square root of 2. How can we get rid of this negative though? Don't worry, it's not so bad, because we can just raise both sides to the negative 1 power, so that this and that will cancel. Therefore, we can get 1 over x raised to the 1 over x being equal to square root of 2 to a negative 1 power. Of course, that's 1 over square root of 2. And we're all those now. Of course, we can totally have a square root of 2 on the bottom. Okay? Now, we are going to do the super square root. And let me just do the super square root symbol right here in purple. I don't really like the super square root, though. I like the SSRT, so I don't know which one you guys like more, but uh, yeah, anyway, anyway, let me know. Right here, when you do the super square root of this to that power, you just get 1 over x back, namely that fish, right? And here you have the super square root of, oh, man, I will just keep it super square root of 1 over square root of 2. See? I make mistake already with the little s here, right? And in the end, of course, we just reciprocate both sides. So in the end, we get x is equal to 1 over this guy, which is the square root of 1 over square root of 2. And this square root on our side, right? this square root on our side here, it's a super version. So we'll put a little s here, okay? And as I said earlier, let me just make this in red, but I really like to use the SSRT. I think it's slightly more clear, so I will look at this as 1 over SSRT of 1 over square root of 2, like this. Man, how cool is this? Seriously, huh? Wow. <sighs> so, this is it. One of the inverse operations of the Ter not Terence Tau. One of the inverse operations of the titration. I don't know why I said Terence Tau. But, but yeah, respect to uh, Professor Terence Tau, of course. But like, yeah, t one of the inverse operations to titration. Very cool stuff. I don't know what I can do next. Maybe you guys can suggest me, and I really appreciate all your suggestions. Thank you guys so much. And as always, that's it.